Today in this video we're going to look at the Eagle from Space 1999 produced by Dinky Toys and Meccano. Uh, this was released in 1974 to uh, coincide with the TV show of the time. Uh, it comes in uh, two versions which is the Eagle Transporter and the Eagle Freighter. So uh, first let's take a look at the Eagle Transporter. The Eagle Transporter is probably one of my favourite toys uh, from the time. It's made out of die-cast metal and is uh, f a fairly weighty toy. It's really nice and heavy and sturdy. And it is a pretty good replica of uh, the vehicle that appeared in the show. It's also a very nice toy. It's got uh, one uh, s sort of simple gimmick in the fact that you can drop off the transporter section. There's a f switch on the back and you press that and it leaves the uh, transporter section behind. So you can then fly the rest of the ship and land it back down and it will pick up uh, the transport section and it's all back together. Uh, this is a, as a toy feature this is a really nice little sort of gimmick. Uh, it also has spring loaded uh, landing feet so you can see there these are actually springs so if I put this down on the surface it's got a little bit of a uh, bounce to it which is a uh, very nice again. Um, these toys uh, came in two versions. Uh, this is a sort of early release one and you can tell this by the fact that it has uh, yellow jets on the side and the back jets of the vehicle are chrome silver and the sort of pods are painted red. Later releases of the toy uh, like this one here, uh, the jets have been replaced with uh, red uh, ones and the back section is no, no longer painted and the no longer chrome so you can see that the jets are red. You'll also notice on the bottom of these vehicles that um, the chroming has been removed from the smaller jets on the second uh, release of the toy. So if you want to collect the old one it's uh, look out for the yellow one with the chrome. Uh, you'll also notice there are some other minor variations in the fact that uh, uh, the windows on this one are clear plastic. Uh, and the windows on this one are red plastic. Uh, there are actually another few variations uh, where uh, the plastic is different colours still. So um, if you want to collect a whole set, there are actually quite a few that you can uh, sort of look out for. Uh, this toy was never released in white. Dinky uh, have sort of noted it saying that um, they didn't think that children would like a completely white toy. So uh, if you ever see one that's completely white, that's not actually how it uh, was originally released. Um, it was uh, that's put together with part of the freighter toy. Uh, these are really nice toys, and I would say uh, ones that are well worth getting. They just have some serious weight to them. So let's take a look at the Eagle Freighter. With the Eagle Freighter, this is essentially the same sort of outer part of the model, but the uh, transport section has re been replaced with a uh, nuclear waste carrying uh, setup. Uh, again, this can be uh, released if you uh, land the vehicle and press the button on the back. It detaches and can be uh, picked up again. Uh, and these small canisters are removable. Uh, they do have a tiny bit of metal on top, and there was a magnet attached to a piece of string, as you can see here, that you used to be able to lower down and uh, attach that and pick them up. Uh, unfortunately, I've lost the magnet off this one, um, so it doesn't work anymore. But you get to see the basic feature. Um, this toy came in a couple of colours. Again, uh, there is this white version, uh, and this is the version people use to swap out with the transporter to get an all-white eagle. Uh, and then there is also a blue uh, version. I actually quite like the blue. It looks uh, quite uh, sort of striking uh, and then as you can see the mid uh, freighter section is also available in white um, and if you'll find combinations of all of these uh, variants so um, it's there's no sort of standard setup for it again as you can see the back jets on all of these are red I don't think there was ever a version release where you had uh, silver jets on it these uh, toys uh, really are very nice you'll quite often find these with the uh, little uh, barrels missing. Uh, you can buy reproduction barrels but again you can still find them loose occasionally so I just keep a, a check out for them and uh, you, 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 know, you might find them. I've recently been working on a project to uh, restore one of the original Dinky Transport Eagles uh, but to make it look more like the uh, show version of the toy. Uh, here you can see my uh, show sort of copy version of it in full white with all the replacement decals and that. Uh, please feel free to watch my other videos on how I restored this uh, as it uh, might be interesting to you. Uh, overall though these toys are really lovely. I do like the weight of them. They don't make toys this sort of heavy anymore um, and the fact that they feel such st so sturdy and are very strong and uh, you know you'd have a hard time breaking a toy like this i just think it's uh, you know it's it's perfectly designed and uh, a really nice design for a spaceship anyway i hope that's uh, been of interest to you thanks for watching and uh, join me on facebook if you'd like to see some more of my uh, restoration work